the coaching that I do is around not just the law of attraction, but the universal laws in general. So the law of attraction is actually one of the lower laws. What the primary law is, is the law of vibration. Because we are all energy, it's all about the vibration that we put out. And it, we don't attract what we want. We attract who we're being in the world. Welcome to A Magical Life, Health, Wealth, and Weight Loss. I'm your host, Magic Barclay, Lead Practitioner at Holistic Natural Health Australia and number one best-selling author. In this podcast, I aim to give you practical tips on how to accelerate and sustain your health, increase your financial, spiritual, and emotional wealth, and to look at something that haunts many of us needlessly, weight loss. Now, sit back and enjoy, because it is time for you to create and truly discover a magical life. Welcome back to A Magical Life. I'm your host, Magic Barclay. Today, the fabulous Mindy Leishman joins us. She is a certified life coach, dream builder coach, and life mastery consultant. Her group coaching programs are helping women and men around the world discover their dreams and passions and live a life they love living. Welcome, Mindy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to have you here, and I need to let the listeners know we've just had a huge chat off air, and I am really looking forward to what you can share with the listeners today. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to sharing. Great. Let's get straight down to business. I ask the guests that come on to A Magical Life the same three questions. Everyone gives me such different answers that it can be really exciting to find out more about people. So here's the first one. What can your expertise do to accelerate health? not just physical health, but also emotional and spiritual health. Oh, this is so perfect because when I talk to my clientele or my potential clientele about their health, I always say it's it's everything. It's the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And all health starts with your mental place that you're at, your, your state of being, right? So when you can get at your mind straight, everything else falls into place. If you're upset a lot, or if you spend a lot of time depressed or sad, you're not going to eat the healthiest foods, or you'll find yourself going back to old habits. You know, you might stay on a, you know, a health plan for a little while, but you fall back to the old habit. But when you get your mind straight, anything is possible. That it is. And I'm reading a book at the moment by one of my previous guests, Zara Mahoon, and it's about the law of attraction. And I think that applies to health as well. And I know that when I personally look at the cup half full scenario, things are better. Is that something that you tell your clients as well? A hundred percent. So the coaching that I do is around not just the law of attraction, but the universal laws in general. So the law of attraction is actually one of the lower laws. What the primary law is, is the law of vibration. Because we are all energy, it's all about the vibration that we put out. And it, we don't attract what we want. We attract who we're being in the world. So yeah, 100%, we wade through the you know, all the muck of all the emotions that don't serve us, we get that stuff out so that we can live a life that we love. Definitely. Okay, question number two is about wealth. And people think wealth is just financial, but it can also be personal and emotional wealth. So what are your top three tips to creating wealth? Okay, my top three tips are, number one, get your head straight again. You can't, you know, if you, if you don't have your head straight, if you don't have your health, your physical health as well, all the, all the wealth in the world isn't going to serve you. If you're uncomfortable, if you're sick, if mentally you're not feeling good, you're depressed, that type of thing. So my first tip would be get your head straight so that you can get your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health straight. My second tip would be to, to really 
pick one dream, you know, pick one dream that's so big, you have no idea how to get to it. You just know you want it. And it doesn't mean that that's your career or, you know, a job. Pick a dream for what you want your life to look like. I picked the dream of living a life of travel. And I get to do that. And I wanted to travel for months at a time, not a couple weeks at a time, but months at a time. And, you know, when you pick that dream and you work toward that one thing, everything else will start to fall into place. And then the third tip would be to create a community around you that supports you. You know, a community that can believe in your dream when you are having a bad day or a bad week or a bad month. A community of people who will pick you up when you need picked up. And they believe in your dream maybe even more than you do. So, yeah, that's my three tips. And they are great tips. And our final standard question is around weight. Have you ever battled your weight? If so, what was the trigger to lose it? And what can you offer the listeners around their stress? Because we know that is a key issue in weight problems. So I I had never really had a problem with weight until I went into perimenopause. So when I went into perimenopause, it wasn't just the menopause. It was depression mixed with menopause and mixed with some bad eating habits, to tell you the truth. I started dating a man who didn't eat the way that I was used to eating. And so, yes, I gained some weight. When the weight came up was when I started there again to do the the mindset work. Like when I really started to dive into who I am, what makes me happy, what do I enjoy, the weight just fell off naturally because I'm not a gym person, but I am an outdoorsy girl. And so I love hiking, something I couldn't do too much of in Florida. But I also love being at the ocean. So at 44, I learned how to surf. Um, I love biking. I love snowboarding, kickboxing, yoga. So when I started doing those things again, because I'd gotten depressed, like I said, and I was sitting on the couch too much. When I started doing those things and started eating right, the weight just dropped off. And when I say eating right, I don't mean a diet. I mean, just eating foods that nourish my body rather than foods with empty calories. Fantastic. Now let's open the floor to what you can do for the listeners. What is it that you do with your coaching and how can it help people create a magical life? So my coaching programs, I I basically do, for the most part, I should say, I do group coaching. I do take some VIP clients occasionally, but I feel that the group coaching, that's where I see my clients having the most success. So I have a 12 week program called the Dream Builder Program. It was written by my mentor, Mary Morrissey. It's an amazing program. It's like a boot camp where we, there again, we go through 12 weeks of really discovering what are those emotions? What are those mental blocks that are holding us back? So we go through a couple of weeks of, um, you know, befriending our fear. We go through a week of discovering our worthiness. We go through two weeks of forgiveness. And this is the type of work that we do because we find that those are the things that hold people back from living a life that they love. And we create the blueprint for their dream. We work through those emotions. We get to a point where they can see their dream like in 3D. They can see it, taste it, feel it, touch it, smell it. And we keep that dream in front of them every single day. Because what happens is we'll write a goal at the beginning of the year. I'm sure everybody's done that. And it it just, you know, goes in a journal or we don't think about it again for a few more weeks. But what we do in the Dream Builder program is we really take that dream off the shelf every single day and put it right in front of you. So the program comes with workbooks, it comes with audios, it comes with live coaching from me every week. And probably the most impactful aspect to the program that I personally offer is I have a daily call. It sounds like a lot, 
but I have several time zones, but I have a daily call where people can jump on every single day and we spend 30 minutes studying and then we spend 30 minutes discussing not just the concepts that we're learning, but we also discuss the breakthroughs that we're having. There's things that might be holding us back. We celebrate each other. There again, that community that believes in us, even when we may be having a bad day. So yeah, um, the program is just amazing. Now, you've created a life that you love, obviously living in a very beautiful place in the world. And we were discussing off air that, you know, so many people are still keeping up with the Joneses, still seeing, I guess, their living space as a box on a small piece of land that they have to pay a fortune for, you know, work their guts out every day to achieve, and there's still that emptiness. So maybe they buy things to make themselves feel good. How is it that people can step outside of that programming, outside of that idea of, you know, the suburban box house, cookie cutter house is the dream to have. I think you just nailed it. It's an idea, right? They believe that this is what they're supposed to do because they don't know that there are other options out there. I, what happens, what I believe what happens is up until about the age of seven years old, we are daydreaming machines. That's all we do is dream, dream, dream. And we can go from being a ballerina to a fireman to, you know, shooting off to the moon. We're literally within 15 minutes, we can be all three of those things. And then we go to school. And what happens? Stop looking out the window. Stop daydreaming. Pay attention. And this goes on for the next how many years through university, right on to adulthood when we go in to get our, you know, to get our first jobs. So I teach people how to dream again. I teach people that just because you, you believe that this is what life is supposed to look like, what if it doesn't have to look like that? What if it could look like you traveling the world? What if it could look like you living in Costa Rica or some beautiful place in the world? What if it looks like everything that you want, you create? Because our thoughts create our reality. And we start dreaming again. And that's, you know, that's really it is just allowing yourself to dream and truly dream big. So what stops people from living that dream and dreaming big? Is it fear? Is it feelings of I'm not worth it? Like what's driving that, you know, this is the way it is and so this is the way it should be feeling? I honestly think it's just society, you know, we've been brainwashed to believe it's supposed to work a certain way. And I believe, I know this was the case for me, I'm 57 years old now and you know, most of my life I was in that rat race. I was doing the thing. I was a real estate agent in, in Florida for 27 years, you know, and just looking to get the next thing and buy the next car and, you know, whatever it might be. And then one day I literally joined the program very much like the one that I'm offering and it changed my life. That's when I realized I don't have to live that life anymore. I'd been dreaming of living Eat, Pray, Love since the year the book came out. And it's all about a woman who travels the world for a year as a journalist. And I, I had no desire to be a journalist, but I had every desire to live in different countries for three months at a time and not be tied to that nine to five job or the constant demands of a high stress career. So we know over the past few years, the world's kind of gone crazy. Everyone's lost their minds and, you know, this is not a judgmental claim here, listeners, but we've all sort of followed the path of fear. What are some easy steps that you can offer the listeners to stop living in fear but start living in hopefulness? I think the first tip that I would give is every day, every day, live in gratitude. When you wake up, you know, start writing, I am so happy and grateful for, or now that, you know, and write down the things that you currently have. 
you know, and then write down at least three things that you currently have in your life. It could be a soft mattress. It could be a ceiling fan, you know, write down what you're grateful for. And then write down three things that you would love to manifest into your life and say, I am so happy and grateful now that, you know, and it could be travel. I'm traveling the world. You know, my health is amazing. I'm healthier than I've ever been. And you want it in positive present tense words. So, and really be in the feeling of that. I would also highly recommend um, creating a vision board. And I do have a vision board workshop that I'll share with you later on in the call here, but a vision board, learning how to create a vision board that actually works isn't about the pictures that you put on the vision board. It's about the feelings and why do you want these things? So, you know, gratitude is number one. A vision board would be number two. And then I would highly recommend some sort of meditation daily. And it could be a five minute meditation that you found on YouTube that you connect with, you know, and start working your way up. It doesn't mean that you're sitting on a yoga mat with, you know, your legs crossed then for 20 minutes sitting in silence. You know, there's some wonderful meditations that will help you visualize just about anything that you'd like to create in your life or, you know, just even bringing that, that good energy in. And you're going to find so much peace by doing these things. And then the other would be, you know, try and get in nature every day if you can, whether it's a short walk, sitting on your patio, whatever it might be, you know, just really go out and, and appreciate and be in nature. You know, exercise is always good. So if you can get that in while you're outside, that's perfect. Definitely. And that takes me to my next question for you. I know you live in a place full of nature and beauty and wonder. And many people around the world do too, but they don't see it. So how can people step into nature and appreciate what it is? You know, for that, I would say turn off your phone, you know, put it on focus or silence, leave it behind if you need to, and just go for a walk. Just be in it, allow yourself to feel the breeze on your skin. Allow yourself to feel the sunshine or the rain. You know, whatever it is that is going on, just be there in the present moment. And, you know, stop and look at a tree. Stop and admire the beauty that's all around. Look up in the sky and watch the clouds go by. But really, being in that present moment is probably the, the best way to truly enjoy nature. Okay, so Mindy, we've covered a fair bit here. What's something that we haven't touched on that you feel the listeners need to hear? I, I believe that anything is possible. If one person can do something, let's say that you see someone succeeding in a business and you would like to do a business similar or maybe the same type of business, or you see someone who's living a life of that travel or freedom or you know, maybe they're doing yoga or whatever it might be, right? Anything is possible. And when you see that, you really know that if you're drawn to that, there's something inside of you that is calling you to step in that direction. You know, we've just been brainwashed to believe that we have to have this job and go to work and clock in and clock out and come home and cook dinner, then go to bed, then rinse and repeat and do it the next day, right? Right. It's not the truth. And we all think that we have to have a 401k and this and that. Again, it's just not the truth. So really look around, watch your friends, look on social media, what draws your attention and then start going in that direction. It doesn't mean that you drop everything and, you know, you quit your job and just run off and start traveling the world, hoping your money doesn't run out. But you start stepping in the direction. You start looking at those um, vacations that you would like to take, the holidays. Or you start looking at the homes that you would like to have or, you know, the languages you might want to speak or whatever it is. That would be my tip is just start walking in the direction of your dream. I definitely love that and agree with that so much. People are often scared to take the first step and you said you know dare to walk in that direction how do they take that first step though like 
Is it that they do the vision board or is it that they start the affirmations? What's a step they can take that doesn't feel too huge? I really think the vision board comes first and then you create affirmations around the vision board. So one of the things that I coach on when I do my vision board workshops is, you know, we see these messy vision boards where people have like just all kinds of things pasted on a board, right? But I, I really coach people on discovering what they would really love, picking two or three short-term visions that you'd like to create so that you can start to see success. You can start stepping in a definite direction and then maybe a couple of long-term goals. You know, you don't want a messy vision board because a cluttered vision board creates a cluttered mind. And so you really want to get very focused on the vision because we think in pictures. And then you want to create the affirmations because what you're doing with the affirmations is now you're creating new neuro pathways in your brain. That's when the blinders come off and you get to start seeing things around you that maybe you just couldn't see before. So this would be my first steps. Terrific. I've really enjoyed our chat today and I know the listeners can gain so much by following you on your socials and hooking up and working with you. So people can find you on Facebook at Mindy Leishman Coaching and on Instagram at Mindy Leishman. Before I let you go, we love freebies. What can you offer the listeners and where can they find it? Absolutely. So I do a free vision board workshop and I actually have one every month and you can just go to my website or go to my social media and follow me on the social media to jump onto one of my vision board workshops. And I would also like to offer your, your listeners a 45 minute free coaching call with me. So that is a $300 value. And like I said, I would like to offer that to your listeners and really help them paint a picture of what their future can truly look like. That is very generous. So everyone jump on. The links will be in the show notes and everyone really start building that life that you love. Thank you so much for having me on today. Been my absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Listeners, thank you for your time too. We know how valuable that is and we appreciate that. For now, go forth and create your magical life. Thanks for listening today. Please subscribe to hear future episodes, leave a review and share this podcast. Drop us a line at A Magical Life Podcast on Facebook and let me know what you would like to know more about. You can find us on Instagram at Holistic Natural Health, that's holistic with a W, or at www.holisticnaturalhealth.com.au. That's where you'll access all sorts of articles, freebies, and more.